everyone. In today's video, we will be discussing the importance of English in NATI exam. As we've seen from our experience that a lot of the students, they seem to miss this very crucial element of this exam, which is English. Because when they are booking the test, they select their own language, which is, which is Punjabi or Hindi. And then they think that if we prepare enough vocabulary of Hindi or Punjabi or their other language, we will be able to clear the test easily. But let me tell you that English is the backbone of this exam. So when you put more emphasis on vocabulary and you, you miss this crucial link, unfortunately, this can result in a negative outcome for you. Let me demonstrate how it all works in the next segment of this video. So as you all must know that a dialogue in an Nadi CCL exam is made up of 290 to 310 words, which are then equally divided between English and language other than English. So pretty apparent that English holds 50% of the weightage of the exam. Whereas what we've seen that most of the students, they put 100% of their efforts in language other than English. Uh, although they're native speakers, they still seem to think that they need to improve their Punjabi, their Hindi, and they need to keep working on the vocabulary, and they completely take English out of the picture. Now, it's not completely their fault because they are being misled by so many of the people around them that if you prepare vocabulary, um, you will be able to pass this exam. However, from our experience, uh, and I'm not talking a short experience, I'm talking combined experience of 10 years, we've seen that people who struggle in English, they have issues in NATI exam because not only they would make errors in English itself, but they are also not able to understand what the English speaker has said. Um, and especially when it's an Australian accent, they struggle to understand whatever the English speaker is talking about. Let's talk about some facts now. 99% of the students who would have failed their NADI exam, they would have received codes such as major distortions and major omissions. These sort of um, errors students usually make when they're translating from English to language other than English, which means that they were not able to comprehend whatever the English speaker had said. Now, when it comes to Punjabi students, I can guarantee that most of them would have received some codes like this in their result. Uh, grammatical errors and incorrect sentence structure are the most prominent codes that are seen in the results of Nari Punjabi students especially because they're not able to form proper sentences in English and they also have grammatical errors. Now let me tell you one thing here, regardless of how good your Punjabi is, how good your vocabulary is, if you're not able to deliver the message from Punjabi to English properly, you will be losing marks in pretty much each and every sentence. So there is no way that you can pass your test if you're not able to deliver your message in English properly. And what we've also seen that when students come to us for their trial class and if they receive a negative feedback in English, they seem to be disappointed and they kind of don't like it when their English is picked up. If what they want to hear is, oh, your Punjabi is not so good. And they feel proud in that, unfortunately. So we have good results. We basically have highest results in Australia when it comes to Punjabi and Hindi. The reason behind that is because we, not, we won't give you any false hopes. We would find out what your shortcomings are and we would guide you on those lines. So if you would like to clear your test, book in for a trial class, you can see the difference yourself. I know truth sometimes is very bitter, but it is beneficial for you. Thank you for watching. See you again.